unboxing with Big Macca B, Pop, Ginger, and we are going to be doing yet another HMV mystery box. Now, yes, I have recently released a video stating, uh, stating should I say, don't buy these. Avoid them at all costs. But I already had this waiting before I made the video. Sure, that's why this one exists. So, uh, basic premise, five items, £25-ish Amazon retail value. However, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here, which will tell you exactly why you shouldn't buy these after this particular video is finished. Because I don't want to ruin the surprise for you. These are supposed to be mystery boxes. Um, whether or not this one will be any different to the last one I did, because it, like, like I said in previous videos, I'm just trying to round it up. So pretty much every box has had two chances on the channel, just for fun. But so yeah, I, I picked up a very light box because I was feeling them. So when I picked this particular one up, there were some heavier boxes that felt like they contained mugs. I always went for the light ones because I don't really feel like having more than the 10,000 mugs I already have. But hey ho, slice and dice, here we go. So hopefully we'll get one of the older boxes here that might actually have something a little different in than uh, previous examples, but let's feel around and see if we can tell what's in here. I'm feeling, I'm feeling something wearable. Uh, one of the, well, that plastic egg that I'm guaranteeing that's gonna be the Star Wars Last Jedi one that's in most boxes. Uh, possibly a key ring. Not sure what the hell that is. And maybe a little figure of some kind or something. So, right, so we'll start with the crappiest item, I can guarantee. Yep, it's the Star Wars Helmet Pencil Topper. So, uh, for anyone not familiar with these particular products, you have, uh, looks like Boba Fett, C-3PO, a Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, TIE Fighter, and the other Stormtrooper-looking thing that I can never bloody remember. Let's just give you a rotation on that. Thanks to my own hand, I can't even tell what I'm looking at. Right. These are always cheap and cheerful. Couple of quid. Nothing particularly special. So let's see, who did we pull? Oh, okay. We got the Boba Fett. I'm pretty sure it's Boba Fett or Jango Fett. Uh, one of the Fetts. We got the helmet top of thingy majingy. Like I said, couple of quid. Nothing special, but Something to fill the box out with, I guess. Next item out is a hat of some kind. Call of Duty. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's got a little like mesh kind of back to it. From Activision. Little, uh, there's the logo on the front and the shiny sticker. Oh, it's got like a camouflage kind of thing underneath. From Black Ops specifically, I could let it out a bit, but uh, that's wearability wise, that's what we're working with. So far, definitely better than the last kid's amazing mystery box we did. So, not, not shocking, not bad, it'll do. Uh, what's this thing then? Oh, okay, it's one of the Matrix puzzles, yeah. These are quite frequent in these boxes. It's, if you like jigsaw puzzles and the Matrix, then you get a 300 piece, very common in these boxes, even before they started just becoming same old, same old. So yeah, that's not bad there, they're, they're a couple of quid as well. And then the last two items in the box, just little items at the base. So let's, let's pull this top one out first. Okay, that I don't mind, that I like. So just cheap and cheerful, big bang theory. Keychain, rub a dub a dub. I don't mind that. Couple of quid, that'll do. Not the worst I've ever received. And the final, where's it gone? There it is. Final item. The bloody hell is it? Oh, okay, so it's from Game of Thrones. Uh, I've got a friend that might like this. It's a bookmark clip. You win or you die. And then it has a whole bunch of speech on the back from Underground Toys. 
Let's give you a little look see on that and the back is what it is so out of everything there the hat not bad the keychain i like not bothered about the pencil topper not too bothered about that but i've got a friend that reads and would probably use that and the matrix puzzle i've had about five of these at this point not just from these boxes but from other things as well so overall for a tenner that particular box wasn't actually terrible that wasn't too bad uh, probably a good way to end the 9.99 boxes on a somewhat high in some senses. So I think that's what we're going to do. That, that's pretty much done and dusted until I hear different about the 9.99 boxes. But that was everything I had for you on that one, folks. So until next time, stay safe, have a good day, and of course, live that pop fanatic life. I'll see you in a bit.